Uh, it's been a long day. Hmm. Who goes there? Speak or leave my home. Oh. I'm sorry I spoke to you in that mannerism. I had a very, very long day. You don't look an uh, age younger than my boy. What is your name? Oh. You don't speak, do you? Very well. I'm not going to force you to speak to me. But is there anything that I can do for you? Since you are all the way here at my home. Oh, I see. Who wants me to take you back to your home? Or are you lost or something? Where are you originally from? Pointing at a direction is not going to help me here. I'm going to need you to speak to me. Because without any way of knowing of where to go, I won't be able to help you. Oh, I see. Well, thank you for speaking up to me. What is your age, if you do not mind me asking this question? I see. So you are quite a little bit older than my boy. My boy's name is Atreus. Sometimes he could be disobedient, but I am his father, and I'm training him to be one of the best warriors that there is. Uh, the symbols and the markings on my body are from very, very long time ago. I don't wish to speak upon my actions of what I did back then, but they have caused a lot more harm than peace. So I fled my homeland and I came here to start anew. I do know why. Even though some of the temperatures here are somewhat unlivable, me and my boy have been living here for years now. And we don't plan on changing that. Unless something even more powerful comes our way. Then we have no choice. Uh, like I said to you, I had a very long day. 
I will fight you. Yes, protecting my boy and also fighting for the right cause. You see, I have angered a few gods in my lifetime. I even killed a few gods in my lifetime. And that's why a lot of the upper-handed people that are called gods are angry at me and my boy. I try not to get any type of physical fighting in our way. I hear a wild bobcat scratching in a tree. Most likely mocking their territory. I'm gonna have to cover that up later tonight. But, anyway. Like I said before. I angered many of gods along with my boy, and I try not to get any physical fighting with the gods, but it always ends up that way. And I always end up as the victor. But I try to hide that fighting spirit within me. For I am a Sparta. I try not to say these things around my boy. But luckily he's out hunting for my food as of right now. But you and him are going to get along because you're going to be here for a while. So it is my mission to bring you back home. I'm sorry if with my old age I forget sometimes, but where did you say your home is? I'm sorry, could you say that again? Rome. How? How did you survive? Fine. I will take you to your home. No, I do not need any type of directions. For I know exactly where that is. It used to be my home. Before I settled here. Back then I was a Spartan. A very known to Spartan. And I did things that I regret doing. You see, my skin is pale white. And the marking on my body, all of it combined, is the ashes of my other family I had back in Sparta. And my name is the ghost of Sparta. I'm the one who caused worldly destruction. 
I'm the one who killed the gods. And I did my actions again over here by killing another god. The other ones are angry at me and my boy. But since you have a settlement that you call home back in Rome, I shall take you there along with my boy. Speak of the devil, Atreus. Pack your bow and supplies. We're taking this one home. It doesn't matter where we're going. All you need to know is to protect this one. And do not let anything happen to them. Understood, boy. Good. Now pack your things. We are going home.